Good evening, everyone, and happy Iron Bowl Saturday. I'm William Galloway. This afternoon in Bryant-Denny Stadium, Alabama blasted the Auburn Tigers 42-13 in the 85th edition of the Iron Bowl. Today doubled as Senior Day as the program recognized 17 seniors before kickoff. Let's look back now at some of the biggest plays from today's game. In the first quarter, Mac Jones with a beautiful pump fake, followed by a deep ball. He hits Devontae Smith. And Smith goes 66 yards to the house. Touchdown, Alabama, 7-0. Crimson Tide on the board first. Early second quarter, play action. Mack to Mechie, 7 yards, touchdown. John Mechie with his first touchdown reception of the day, 14-0, Alabama at that point. A 47-yard field goal from Anders Carlson and Auburn. Puts three on the board there, 14 to three with 8.51 left in the second quarter. Mac Jones right here steps up and finds Jalil Billingsley, 24 yards and the first career touchdown for Billingsley. Alabama leads 21 to three after that score. And right before the half, Bo Nix looking for Anthony Schwartz in the flat, but Malachi Moore says, give me that. Interception for the freshman, an 18 point lead for the Crimson Tide at half. Second half now. Auburn on the board with a 45 yard field goal. That one from Carlson as well. 21 to 6 the score after that. But fear not Alabama. You still have Mac Jones and you still have Devonte Smith and Smith is going to the end zone. That one 58 yards and Smitty had 171 yards receiving on only seven receptions today. Najee Harris breaks open a 39 yard touchdown run right here to go up 35 to six. The Crimson Tide would go on to win it 42 to 13 and after the game Mac Jones said the team missed Coach Saban but they were still prepared. I'd say like obviously not having Coach Saban um, is difficult and I think obviously he did a great job preparing all of us for a situation like this to happen and it was clear that we, we were prepared for this type of situation and obviously we want Coach Saban to be out there. You know for me obviously just talking with him on the sideline he always keeps me calm but at the same time Sark did a really good job. I mean it's not easy to go in there, you're calling plays, you're managing a, a rivalry game and I think he obviously did a great job too um, and you know kudos to him and we really fired up before the game and I thought we had, our energy was good so everything seemed you know decently normal. The 22nd ranked Auburn Tigers fall to five and three on the year. One point of struggle for them tonight was on third down. They were only nine for 19 on third down conversions. Julia Westerman joins us live in the newsroom now for more Auburn coverage from today's Iron Bowl. Julia. Yeah, William, 2019 proved to be much kinder to the Auburn Tigers than 2020. This afternoon's game didn't see a touchdown from the team across the state until the fourth quarter, something that ultimately did them in. And they were the better team tonight. Um, you know, you look at the first quarter and we came out flat. And, uh, you can't come out flat against a team like that on the road. And if you look at the whole deal, I think uh, the explosive plays is what stands out to me. Uh, when they got inside our 40-yard line, when we got inside their 40-yard line, we kicked field goals. Of course, this one hurts. Um, I mean, it just it is what it is. Uh, you never want to lose, um, especially to your rival. And I mean, we just have to get back and get going and put this behind us and have it a, have a positive mentality going into this week. Today's loss moves the Tigers to five and three, who must now turn the focus over to the Texas A&M Aggies. Reporting live, I'm Julia Westerman, WVUA 23 Sports. Thank you, Julia. Around the SEC, the other headline game took place today in Oxford between Mississippi State and the Ole Miss Rebels. The first Egg Bowl featuring Mike Leach versus Lane Kiffin. Here's how it all went down. In the first quarter, Ole Miss up 7-0. Will Rogers completes the pass to Austin Williams into the end zone for three yards, but Tyler Knight forces the fumble, and it's recovered by Deion Leonard. Go, Leonard, go! Takes it 84 yards inside the red zone, and Shortly thereafter, Snoop Connor would punch it in, and Ole Miss goes up 14 to zero. We flash ahead to the fourth quarter. Ole Miss leading 24 to 14. Mississippi State trying to cut the lead, and Rogers finds Austin Williams, who spins in for the seven-yard touchdown. A three-point game. Then five seconds left in the game. Ole Miss up 31 to 24. Rogers has to go for the end zone, and it is tipped away. Kiffin wins his first Egg Bowl 31 to 24 over Mike Leach and the Mississippi State Bulldogs. We look at the SEC scores from around the league. Missouri beat Vanderbilt today and Florida beat Kentucky and some other action. Texas A&M beat LSU and Georgia goes on the road to South Carolina and gets the win in Columbia. 
Number three, Clemson defeated Pitt today 52 to 17, and the Tigers are now eight and one on the season. That's it for sports this evening. I'm William Galloway. Stay with us. We're back after this.